right, well, next. Now, you actually found this next story, Drew, and it shows that nightlife is looking a little different these days. Who? I'd love a night out, right? Are you guys in the mood to go out again, have a fun night? I like that. I like this spirit. Yeah. I feel like I'm always alone on my couch. I need to, like kibitz with other people and hear that cheer because it is very motivating. It absolutely is. And now it's a whole new game out there. New York Times reports New Yorkers are ditching the clubs and gamifying their hangouts. Yeah, Royal Palms in Gronus, Brooklyn offers wall-to-wall -wall shuffleboard courts. Thank you very much. I love shuffleboard. Uh, Union Hall over in Park Slope, they have bocce ball. I love bocce. You love bocce. I do. I built a court in my house, it turns out if you have plywood and some gravel, bocce court. That's easy. it. It's so easy. And then the Uncommons, a bar in the village, has an epic board game collection. So you come for the tater tots, stay for the guess who. And I, in Palm Springs, there are a bunch of bars that have like oversized Connect Four, oversized Jenga. Every Saturday I play bingo. Ugh. I know. Like you went to Studio 54, I go to Studio Connect Four. <laughs> That's kind of... <laughs> That's my jam. But would you do this, play games in the bars? Yeah, there's actually a great bar in New York. It's like a rec room. It used to be called the Fat Cat. Does anyone, has anyone ever been to the Fat Cat? Mm -mm. Yes, thank you. <laughs> we probably saw each other there. <laughs> what was the Fat Cat? What it's it? like a rec room. It's like a concrete basement, and they have shuffleboard and ping pong and pool tables and board games. And there's like, literally, the bar is a fridge. It's so cool. I think they just changed their name. Um, to Cellar Dog. I don't know if it's under new ownership. Mm. Um, but I've always enjoyed uh, activities while partying. Mm -hmm. It's like, instead of just staring at each other and, you know, talking, which I'm into that too. Totally. I love an activity. So this story spoke to me as like, gaming is, is, is now acceptable for nightlife. And I've always been there and I'm just like, Good. Me too. All right, next. Um, as the last three months have shown us how yeah. difficult times are, people will find a way to help each other. So this story really spoke to me. People reports one Missouri mom named Wendy Farrell sprung into action to help 31 children at an orphanage in Ukraine get safely to Poland. Her journey started from a personal place because she adopted a daughter from Ukraine in 2013 named Alana. And that inspired her to start a nonprofit called One U Project dedicated to supporting other children like her daughter, Alana. Yeah, and now Wendy and a team from her nonprofit traveled to Poland themselves to welcome the children and help them get set up with a room and board and enroll them in school and their new temporary home. This is amazing. You it's think amazing. about what we can do to help. That's exactly how I felt. I saw her story. So if you go to our website at thedrewbarrymoreshow.com and you'd like to support her, we are doing the same over here. And thank you so much for what you do.